At 23, Shannon Sylvain was in a doctor's office asking about a strange symptom. She had blood in her stools. She said at the time, I was too young to have anything. At 31, something unimaginable. Doctors told her she had incurable stage four colon cancer. What happened to stage one, two, and three? I'm just stage four, I'm 31, I'm young, I'm healthy. She thought she was healthy, but knew her diet could be better. I was a sugar addict, you know? It was just, it was my thing. After surgery, Sylvain says doctors gave her little direction as to what to eat or avoid. Those things are huge because when you're at the place of you'll do anything to save your life, that's when you should be having those conversations. What is the connection between excess sugar and colon cancer? Sylvain believes it contributed. She did some research and learned cancers flourish in sugar environments. She started Brown Sugar Rehab, a site to teach people, especially communities of color, about the dangers of hitting and sugars. It's in your salad dressing, it's in your your milk, it's in it's in everything. Scientists are closely examining the sugar cancer connection. It can feed cancer cells. Cancer cells are very dependent on glucose for energy and can use it quite rapidly. Dr. Michael Gorin co-directs the USC Diabetes and Obesity Center. He says studies show people of color may be more susceptible to sugar's damaging effects. So this could be one reason why, for example, there's higher diabetes in African-American men and women. And Dr. Gorin says Latinos have a genetic predisposition to fatty liver disease. While the research on sugar and cancer is still early, it's a well-known fact that Americans eat too much. The average American American is consuming about 140 pounds of, of sugar per, per year. That's about 30 teaspoons of sugar a day. The World Health Organization advises women to consume no more than six teaspoons of added sugar a day. For men, it's nine teaspoons. Sylvain aims to eat even less. Switching to a plant-based diet has helped her cut back and she feels even stronger in her fight against colon cancer. I think everyone's story is different, but for me, it's what's improved my health drastically.